So welcome back to final episode. I'm still Pav and I'll show you what is done and what we still need to do. So as you can see, everything's wired now and hardware-wise, we have solenoids, you should hear them clicking and you can see the pump, you can hear it running. So now we have to install the control magic, which is this small device, it would interface the hardware with the smart box with the brains. The box is not live, so don't worry, there's nothing live in it, just cables from the sensors that are still yet to connect. Okay, cables, brain. I'm using connector blocks, which I didn't write connector blocks. And depending on the amount of contacts, I will terminate them with the separator for easier connection. Okay, one, what we need to do now is we need to connect the cables as they should go into the bottom side of those connectors and we interconnect the logical side with the brains of how they need to go at the top end. So the cables from all the sensors are connected into the connection blocks there's a sub-controller which connects to the main controller in the air handling system and there's wiring which does the magic and connects all the hardware to the software in the main controller. Okay, so now I'll show you how does it look on my phone. You can see there's a quick overview of the system. It shows the pump is running, the levels, the temperatures of the water, the pressures, and I'll show you in more details at, uh, from my computer at my desk. You're still filming me? Yeah. <laughs> that is the new weather map for the system in question. As you can see, there are two water supplies, two water valves. One of them is open, one of them is in standby, just in case water disappears from here because we have resilient water supply. Then we have a water level in the actual pre-clean water tank. As you can see from the history, it dips slightly because it's being used by a cleaning system. Temperatures of both tanks, you can never store water above 20 degrees because of Legionella risk, so we have to monitor this quite closely. And should this cross that line, we would have to either chill the water or just drain it. <clears throat> then there's a various pressures in the system. This is pre-WTS system pressure, so the inlet of the actual treatment system. The red line above is the backup water supply pressure, just so we know we have water just in case we need it. And the primary water is the yellow line. As you can see, it fluctuates because it's a building main supply. So if someone flashes the toilet or opens the tap, it dips from five and a half to two and a half bars, which is perfectly normal. Oops. So the reverse osmosis system, WTS system, is currently running, as you can see. And because of that, the water level is going up. The system would keep the water level between those two lines. This is the normal water level expected one. If it should it go as low as that red line or above this line, which is overflow, the system would signal us immediately and would alert us. So someone would go and have a look what happened and what's the reason for that. 
clean water pump currently not running because the pressure is within the spec and the pressure is currently as you can see between those two lines so once it goes below that line the pump would kick in and restore it back to high pressure. So this is the normal operating pressure between 3.2 and 3.7 bar that we keep in our clean water system so all the Humi folks can use it. And we also have a camera uh, so we can see what's going on in the area that we were just in. So to summarize what we've done is in episode one we disassembled the old system, put it in bits. In episode two we started to put back the hardware, pipe work, controls, cabling and hardware part of, this, of the controls. In this episode I showed you how does it look completed after we installed the software, after we have some visualization, we have some levels, monitoring and alerting and this is how it should be, this is how we like it to be. Why did we do that? We did that so because we were kind of blind on do we have any water in the tanks, what is the temperature in the tanks, we had to measure the temperature every day which is not really productive and now what with all the bits installed we can monitor every level, every temperature, every pressure so we basically have an immediate understanding of what's going on with the system and it would alert should something go wrong. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this series and you now know how we work, how we prefer it to be done and please come back, visit us for more videos.